Hi everyone, Dr. Rodney White with week five of our series on how to exercise properly. We're gonna talk a little more about cardiovascular training again here. I'm sure this has happened to a lot of people. You feel like you start running or you start riding or, or you choose an exercise that you tend to do a lot of. Things are going well, you're losing weight, you're getting more fit, you're getting better at the exercise you're doing, you can run faster or for further, those kind of things. And then all of a sudden it feels like you hit a wall. Either the weight stops coming off, you just can't lose that last 10 or 20 pounds, or you get to seven miles and you can't break into the eight miles. These kind of things start happening because our body actually starts to adapt to the exercise we're doing and we hit this plateau. So you have to mix up your exercise to almost beat your body. And I, I don't mean beat it in a bad way, I mean beat the adaptation that kicks in. Because if it starts getting used to what's going on, you lose the gains that, that you were previously getting. So instead of always just running, or always just riding, or always doing them the same way, you wanna shock the body a little bit because the more you shock the body and change things, the faster you'll keep making the gains of building better muscle and tone, losing more fat, getting better lung capacity, which are really the main reasons why we exercise. Some examples would be, if you're always running on a treadmill, go and run outside and add hills into it so you're not always flat, or at least change the incline on the treadmill. Or if you're always running long distance, do some days where you're doing more sprint work and making it more the high intensity interval training that we've talked about. If you're always running, maybe jump on the elliptical or a bike or a stair stepper. In fact, you really every 30 days should try and completely mix up the cardiovascular training you do. If you're training for a marathon or something like that, obviously you need to keep running and getting the miles under your legs, but don't do that five or six days a week, maybe run three days a week, and then do two or three days a week of elliptical or something else. So definitely always keep mixing up the training and if you are frustrated because you feel like you've plateaued in any way, you'll be happily surprised when you change it up and shock your body into going to that next level. And then in 30 days, do the same thing again, change it up. So please always share this content with anyone who you think will find it useful. If you ever would like us to come and present to your work team or sport team or anything like that on anything health related, just reach out to our office and we can set something up. Don't forget to hit the like button and as always, have a great week.